Hey good people, it is Tashara Politics and Fashion here today with a video about one of my favorite topics and that is a capsule wardrobe. I'm going to teach y'all how to create a capsule wardrobe from start to finish. This video is for the people who really want to focus on reducing clutter in their closets and to find a style that they love to look their best every day with a focus on interchangeable pieces. And the best part about it is all the tips that I'm going to share with you today I actually go in greater detail about you all in my newest ebook called How to Declutter and to Curate a Style That You Love. These tips are going to get you exactly where you need to be in your closet, I promise. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you are following me over on Instagram, you subscribe to my channel down below, and just keep watching. Before I go any further though, I wanna make sure that I share with you all what I am wearing today. Let me get a little bit closer. I have these Colt Gaia earrings that I am obsessed with. I caught these on sale. If they are still available, I'll make sure I link them down below. I have two of these safety pin earrings. I got these from Bobble Bar and I put the entire set in one ear. Um, and I have just a small huggy in this ear, okay? Bracelet stack is all free made in today. I have the two thin cuffs and then the thick Philly John, that's what that one is called. These are gold plated brass. Same rings as usual, okay? And then the dress is one of my favorites. This one is by Significant Other. And this really pretty like pumpkin color. I thought it was a great pre-fall color. If this dress or another color is still available, I know it comes in white and it also comes in brown. I'll make sure I link it down below. Now let's get into the tips. The first tip should come as no surprise. I mean, I have gone on many rants about this before y'all. And the first tip is to declutter. Declutter, declutter, declutter. Girl, get into your closet. You need to blow those cobwebs out, all right, and get every single piece of clothing either in piles or in a rack, okay? When I say every single piece, that's what I mean. I mean, go into your partner's closet where you've taken over a couple shelves, go into the garage, okay, go to your mama house and get those clothes that you have been storing from college out of, out of your childhood bedroom, like, Every single piece that you have that is for the upcoming season, you need to be able to visually see because so often I feel like we don't even know what's in our closets, which is one of the reasons why we have a hard time getting dressed in the morning. So once we have everything out in the open, I want to encourage you all to put your items into three piles. This is a very important recipe, y'all. Do not skip this step. Number one, as Marie Kondo would say, make sure you have a pile of things that spark joy. What are those pieces that fit great, that make you happy when you wear them, that you know you are going to want to keep for the upcoming season? Put those in one pile, okay? Those are going to be our foundations for the season's capsule wardrobe. The second pile is going to be things that don't spark joy anymore, but are still in good enough condition to either donate or sell. Now, I share in the ebook all the places that I would recommend selling your items. Obviously, we can donate to a place like the Salvation Army, to uh, Goodwill, to any like charity shop that you have locally. This way, you're going to reduce waste in the environment. It's obviously better for the world that we live in, better for the earth, but also. If you have designer pieces, for example, get a little bit of coin out of your wardrobe. If you're not wearing something anymore, then pass it on. Why wouldn't you sell it or donate it? A very important tip in this whole capsule wardrobe decluttering process. Then number three, girl, we have those pieces that nobody needs, okay? We have t-shirts with holes in them. We have old bras and underwear. All that stuff just needs to be tossed recycled if possible but get her out of there because it is cluttering up the good pieces that are in your wardrobe so we got three pals here right spark sure we're gonna keep it donate or sell and number three we're tossing those pieces i just have to say because uh uh i don't want to eviscerate edges i know you just got your wig glued into your scalp okay melted into your scalp lots of got to be glue around the edges but I would not be me if I did not say 
the thing I so often say, which is some of y'all have apple bottom jeans with boots with the fur in your closet for the 99 and the 2000. And we're going to get rid of those things today. You're not hitting the flow, getting low with them. Okay, they are not sparking joy. They are not serving you. The same thing I would say for pieces that you no longer can fit. I am from a body positivity perspective. I say embrace the body that we have. Now, if you are on a weight loss journey and you really are committed to getting back into certain clothing pieces, I would never tell you to toss them. But realistically, how many of us are going to really get back down to our college weight? to our high school weight. And should that even be one of our goals? I can't say that for sure for you. For me, it surely is not. So those pieces that we've had for a really, really long time, from when we first got married, from when before we had kids, donate them if they're still in good condition. Pass them on to your children. But you don't need to keep them in your closet and definitely not in your capsule because once again, we're talking about pieces that we love, that we feel great in, today and then number two is to get inspired getting inspired for me is one of the best parts of the whole capsule wardrobe journey it really does kind of enliven this creativity in you because you're looking for inspiration for what you are going to wear for this season i mean it's the thing that actually gets me the most excited for cooler temperatures because y'all know I'm, I'm from Florida. I, I, I prefer summer. I, I was born in the spring, but I am a summer baby at heart, okay? But when I go to Pinterest, for example, when I go to IG to my saved collection, when I look at old-fashioned magazines, okay, these are going to be looks that I know I can either create because I have the foundations of those pieces in my closet or that I want to get inspired to create. Maybe, uh, for example... I um, pinned two years in a row this really dope um, khaki colored jumpsuit. I then purchased a khaki colored jumpsuit from High Low Lux's Amazon The Drop collection. Love it. Hey Janae, if you were watching, still have that piece and gonna keep it forever. Okay, and I would never have thought to put underneath it a turtleneck, but I got inspired by this picture on Pinterest to do so. I then created the look with a pair of boots, okay, and I made it my own, but this picture is what set it off. It's what gave me the idea when I saw the jumpsuit that Janae had, which is a great, great basic. That's what I mean by getting inspired, inspired by finding pieces that you may already have to create this, these looks. But most importantly, we have to know where we are headed. Okay, I'm going to get into shopping with intention in just a moment. But Having that inspiration kind of coupled or married with decluttering is going to help us add pieces to our capsule with a roadmap in mind. We're going to know where we are headed with a capsule wardrobe that we love for this season. So once again, we're going to look on Pinterest, which is a great search engine, for example. Even if you know that you love, for example, chunky boots, you've been seeing them everywhere. Search in Pinterest, how do I wear chunky boots? Outfits for chunky boots. And then pin those to your board, okay? We're going to look on IG and save it to a collection. We can even look at old-fashioned magazines. We can use a journal to write down ideas. But the goal is, once again, to have a roadmap in mind. Now, number three is to have a color palette in mind. And I want to just take a second to debunk the myth that a capsule wardrobe has to be all neutrals. Now, that's where I gravitate towards, but that is not true whatsoever. It definitely is possible to weave color into your capsule. Number one, you can do so just by having a color palette of three to four colors that all work well together. For example, jewel tones might be your jam, pastels might be your jam primary colors might be your jam but think about how you're going to be able to mix and match those pieces the other thing might be to have maybe neutral clothing items like your tops like your bottoms like your dresses but then introduce color or a similar color palette through your third layer your coat your blazers for example or your cardigans and then you also have the option of introducing color or a color palette through your accessories, maybe your handbag, maybe your shoes. So I think about for me, I have a pair of light blue Bottega Veneta sandals. 
they're, they're called the curve sandals I also have a light blue Sandro coat light blue is a very on-trend color I think it's a it's much easier to have those pieces as key accessories than to have a wardrobe that is full of light blue and other random colors right now I could do all pastels if that was my jam but what makes the most sense for me is to have those colors as add-ons either way having a color palette is going to help you to get the most excited about your capsule it's going to help you to be able to determine what you already have in your closet that you can wear for the upcoming season. So add a little bit of color, girl. Add some color. I'm, I'm queen of neutrals, but add, add a little bit of color, all right, if that is your jam. If not, stick with neutrals, but do so with the color in mind. And then tip number four is to create a shopping list. So at this point, we've decluttered, we've gotten inspired, and we also have our color palette. So we know where we're headed. Notice I said create a shopping list and not go shopping because I think having a list helps us to be a little bit more intentional about what we're adding to our wardrobe. But most importantly, this list is kind of aspirational okay we don't have to pressure ourselves to get every single thing on it because you should already have a pretty healthy baseline and a foundation at this point in your wardrobe I want to encourage you to shop what you already have However, if you were missing items, let's say you were missing great basics like a white button down, you really need a new pair of black pants, you don't have any boots or a great pair of sandals, Creating a shopping list is going to let you know where to spend, where to splurge, and where to save. Three concepts that I talk about in depth in the ebook. Because I do think that there are certain areas that are on your list that you do want to make a great investment in. Maybe that's a great like wool coat, or maybe that is you don't have a great uh, tote for work. There are other areas, however, that it would be great for you to spend a little bit on, but not break the bank. And in some areas, I'm gonna say, girl, don't even waste your coin on, okay? To find out what those are, again, take a look at the ebook. But most importantly, shop with intention, y'all. Make a list, and also don't be afraid to shop secondhand for those items that are on your list. And then our fifth tip is to create your capsule, girl. As Nini Leaks would say, I have arrived, all right? We have arrived to that point. We have figured out what's missing. We have filled those holes with intention. We have decluttered. We have gotten inspired. And girl, now it's time to just put everything together and make it do what it do. Now, for me, I like the idea of actually putting my capsule wardrobe to the side. So the pieces that you see, for example, in my closet are for this season. I'll take these, I'll put these away, and then I'll put the upcoming season's capsule in its place, okay? For you, it might be on a rack, it might be certain drawers, it might be a certain space in your closet, but I think visually it helps you to get dressed in the morning when you have all of those pieces together. Now, obviously, I have things that are like more stunt pieces or more formal wear that I'm not going to put here because those are not my everyday pieces. For example, I have this great um, silk oversized Balenciaga shirt in pink that don't go here. <laughs> But it's tucked away for when I need it. Having those pieces together visually just makes getting dressed and feeling your most stylish every day so easy to do. Another tip, y'all, this is a major style hack, is to take pictures of the items that are going to be in your capsule and or to write those outfits down. I know for me, I love using this new spread that I just got from Cloth and Paper. Um, I did like an audit of everything that I have currently in my capsule and then put on the side my wants for the season. I also have a little quote from Yves Saint Laurent. The whole idea is for me to actually be able to have, um, I feel like a handle or an inventory of what's in my closet and at this point in the process, you should be there, you should be at that point. And you should love every single piece that is remaining. And that is it, y'all. That is my five tips for planning for a capsule wardrobe for a new season. I hope it has been helpful for you. I asked this question over on Instagram, and I have a lot of questions. So I'm actually probably going to go live very soon. I'll make sure I save the live because it'll, it will happen before this video comes up. But the goal is this. It is to feel good, girl. 
I just feel like style is a major form of self-care. The ways that we adorn ourselves are major forms of self-care and resistance as BIPOC women. It is just a part of my DNA and my core that um, has brought me through very difficult times. And somebody might say to Shira, it's just clothes. But, but clothes are my art form and they represent how I feel and a major message to the world. And I think for you, they can and should do the same. If you've loved this video, then make sure you check out all the links that I have mentioned down below, including my new ebook. Make sure you are following me over on Instagram. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see y'all across the internet. Peace.